be opening an entire case of brand new Pokemon card products that feature exclusive Scarlet and Violet promo cards. Oh! <laughs> Out of one of the last packs? I would love to get one of those gold cards. Oh! How many times are we gonna pull this? We might have a problem with the new Pokemon cards. This doesn't look too promising. These are the brand new Mimikyu collection boxes, and for the second time now, we have another look at brand new Scarlet and Violet promo cards. Besides opening an entire case of these new boxes, I'm also gonna be opening a few more new products, and on top of all that, I'm gonna be giving away a sealed Mimikyu collection box. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the brand new Mimikyu EX collection box. We have even more exclusive promo cards, but let's check out the back as well. Take an underworld stroll with Mimikyu EX and Grievard. Mysterious powers and supernatural strategies swirl as the adorable spooky Mimikyu makes his debut as a Pokemon EX. We got a Mimikyu Pokemon EX card. And then besides that, it looks like we have a few other things like four packs, some code cards, a giant uh, card of the Mimikyu EX. And then a Grieve art. All right, I'm pumped to see this card out of the plastic and see what it actually looks like because the new designs for Scarlet and Violet EX cards are actually crazy cool. I cannot wait to get one of these in my hand. So let's see what we got. All right, and actually, let's see what other packs we have in here too. All right, so I want to start with the promo cards first. Let's see. Oh, my God. Yo, this is actually pretty fire. This is pretty cool. Dude, this is crazy because it looks so much like the X and Y era EX cards. I love it, dude. So it says Black Star promo on the bottom. It says 004 and then Scarlet and Violet English promo card. The only thing I will say is it kind of looks like like flat. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have uh, like vibrance to it. It's weird to say. Like I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but it definitely like there's no texture, which is fine. But it looks washed like it looks washed out, if that makes sense. But it looks cool, like the design, the artwork, and everything like that. I just don't know about like the coloring on it. it. Looks kind of off for some reason. It almost looks like fake a little bit. Oh my god! Okay, you could really see it. I just grabbed this Mewtwo EX. We pulled this um, when we were searching for Mewtwo's. Now, now, do you guys see what I'm talking about? It's so washed out. Oh my god! Like I, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. It, was there like something that messed up at the factory and they like? Did, I, I don't know, guys. We, we, like that genuinely looks so dull and like there's no color there's no, no like just washed out Ugh. ah i don't know i don't know this looks so much better now i'm kind of ner oh like i don't understand why it's like that uh we we might have a problem with the new pokemon cards uh specifically the ex's at least that's what i'm seeing let's check out the other promo card but this doesn't look too promising right now anyway hopefully it'll get better i hope that's I don't know. All right, we got our next promo card out of here. For the EX card, I guess we're going to have to just wait and see other EX cards to see if maybe this is just the style of it or if they're all going to be like that or if it's just this one. To me, it looks a little too faded. I don't know. It's just my opinion, though. Um, but let's see here. We have the Grievered, and this looks like a normal card. And again, you got, like, the silver borders here. This is the new style that we're going with. We don't have any more design, like, icons. It's going to be the set number on the bottom, but it looks pretty cool. And, yeah, I think this Jumbo one here has the same sort of, like, lackluster of color to it. It could be because it's, like, a spooky Pokemon, maybe, that they that have less color. I don't know. But it's all good. We're going to see what we got here. So, for our booster packs, it looks like we have a Silver Tempest. We have another Silver Tempest. We got two Silver Tempests. We do have Fusion Strike. And then we do have Brilliant Stars. And then here's a code card for this Mimikyu EX box. All right, let's get this out of the way. And let's open up some of these booster packs. So these don't officially release till March 3rd. I don't know when you guys are actually seeing this video. So we are opening this up a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what we get out of these Fusion Strike packs. I mean, Fusion Strike makes sense to put in the Mimikyu EX box. It's just, it, it makes sense. Sand True and a Cloyster. And then having two Silver Tempests and a Brilliant Stars is pretty awesome. Um, can't go wrong with these two sets. Let's see if we can get some bangers out of here. Come on, baby. Let's go. Psychic. We got Worker. Drowsy, Growlithe, Whalmer, and an Arcanine. Maybe I'm thinking too much into the EX card of that Mimikyu, but I don't know. I just can't help but, like, you guys saw the comparison to the Mewtwo, right? Uh, I just can't help but think that, uh, it looks a little too lackluster, and I, I, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. That's all. Rotom. We got Tug of Tomorrow and a non another non hot. But I, I really do like the design. I love the Mimikyu artwork. I love the style. I love all that. I just don't know how I feel about how the uh, the contrast of it and everything is. But let's see. 
uh, Scarlet and Violet is it's coming out soon, about a month from now, a little more than a month from now. So we're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We got the Houndoom nice from the Trainer Gallery into the Whimsicott Full Art V card. The official Pokerep packs are in stock now. But here's the cool part. The Mega Bonus Pack, which could be any pack as old as the original 1999 base, all the way through to every single generation of Pokemon cards ever made. You'll have a shot to pull any of the four tiers, which are colored accordingly to the rarity. To start it off, we have the lowest tier, which is the green tier, and that gets you another Sword and Shield pack. The next step up is the red tier, and that gets you any set from the Sun and Moon or X and Y era. But keep your eyes peeled for the silver tier, which can get you any set from the black and white era of Pokemon. And finally, we have the gold tier. That gets you anything from the original Wizard of the Coast era, such as base set, jungle, fossil, as well as the Harkold Soul Silver era, diamond and pearl, platinum, and more. And as always, odds are listed on the back packaging so you know exactly what you could pull. You can grab your PokeRep packs at thepokecave.com, but make sure you grab them soon because we have a hard time keeping them in stock. So click that first link down below in the description. All right, so we have a bunch more of these to open. I'm gonna just crack these open and then we'll just just open the packs up. Here we go. A giant pile of booster packs. Uh, they're just all mixed up. But yeah, these are the rest from the collection boxes. So I'm just going to go through these, see how lucky we get or unlucky we get. We got an Amistar V, but we can get some cool stuff because these are all... Oh, here's a code card. These are all um, just sets that like have banger cards in them. I mean, you literally can't go wrong with any of these sets. So let's see what we get. Hopefully, get some cool stuff. I'm going for the Lugia and the Charizard. Lugia from Silver Tempest, Charizard from, from Brilliant Stars. We got, a, we got a decent shot at some of this stuff. Hopefully, anyway. All right, Silver Tempest, bring us the goods. All right, come on. I don't even know how many packs we have, but there's a bunch. There's a whole pile of them. So, yeah, you guys should start seeing these in your local stores like Walmart, Target, stuff like that. If they wait till the 3rd of March, maybe, maybe not. I, I'm not sure how it works. Sometimes I think they come out earlier. Uh, but, yeah, let's see what we get out of these packs. Maybe some goodies. Scarlet and Violet is coming soon. I, I just, I'm hoping to start opening up this new generation of cards here. This is going to be a big change because the borders aren't, they're not going to be yellow anymore. You saw they're going to be silver. Um, I think you're guaranteed a hollow in every patch. You got a Radiant Alakazam. That card's sick. And then nothing else. We're saying goodbye to the yellow borders, though. Goodbye, yellow borders. Hello, silver borders. No more set icons either. So, like that, that'll be gone. There won't be any, like, little icons for the set. Which I think I prefer the little the little different icons or different whatever um, for each set. Um, yeah. All right. Give us some good stuff. Come on. Come on, Mimikyu collection boxes. Mimikyu collection boxes. Oh, my gear in a regular V card. All right. So after we open these packs, we are going to open up some more new products. I'll show you guys those in a second. Regular Honchkrow V. Why do we keep getting, like, just the basic V cards? That happened last the, yesterday when I was filming. Just all just the regular V cards. Nothing too crazy so far. Come on, brilliant. Come on, brilliant. Come on, brilliant stars. Moth them. All right, all right, all right. We're going at a good pace here. We're going at a good pace. So far, just... I think the best pull would probably be, like, the Radiant Alakazam. Come on! Come on! Something good! Oh, Mimikyu V. Okay. Look, look, look. See? See? So, look, again. I mean... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is a Mimikyu V regular V card and you can clearly see it up against the EX the difference there it really kind of reminds me of those fake cards like the ones that kind of look like they're just photocopied uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, I hope I hope it's not like that I don't know why I, I don't know I'm really genuinely curious to know what your guys opinions are on that I'm just overthinking it but I don't I don't know it's weird weird to me. It looks it really reminds me of those fake cards. Cinderus V Max. Just regular V's and V Maxes so far. Alright, final three. Actually the last two are gonna be Fusion Strike. Do we have a good code card? We do. Okay, we have a good code card on this one. Let's slow roll it. Are we ready? Come on. More Petco. Whale Lord. Give us some give us the best pull. Oh! <laughs> Yo! 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 Out of one of the last packs? Okay. The Unknown V alternate artwork. Yo, that was the best pull so far. I was not expecting to pull that. I thought we were just going to keep getting V cards. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty crazy. That's a tough card to pull. Oh, my God. Okay. I love that artwork. 
Oh, okay, that's a white coat card. It's probably going to be nothing in this one then because there's no trainer gallery. All right, let's move on to our next product. All right, we have the Pikachu VMAX Special Collection Box, and this is all about that Crown Zenith because you can't get enough Crown Zenith, especially because they keep having new Crown Zenith products drop. If I can open this up, uh, <laughs> yeah, Crown Zenith products are dropping through May. We still have three months, over three months of Crown Zenith products. Here's the promo cards. They look amazing. I actually like this one a little bit. Which one do you like? It's like more. VMAX or the V? Here's a here's a big version of the VMAX. That actually is pretty sick. And next to the Mimikyu right there. All right, so here we go. We have three, four, five Crown Zenith. Who thinks we're going to get better pulls from our Crown, our, our five Crown Zenith packs compared to all of those other packs combined that we had from an entire case of the Mimikyu? Who, who thinks we're going to have more pulls than these? Let's see what happens. Nope. Because Crown Zenith might have one of the best pull rates out of any set right now. It's crazy. It's pretty crazy, honestly. Like, you could open up five packs of Crown Zenith. I'm probably gonna jinx myself, though, like I always do. But you could open up five packs of this and get craziness. Yep, I'm jinxing myself. So what happens now? Okay. Right, let's keep rolling. Here we go. Crown Zenith. It's such a good set that they decided to release it for like six months straight or five months straight. Like five months. Rock Rough. Oh my god. Imagine jinxing yourself on Crown Zenith of all the sets. All right, we still we can still do it with two packs. I want to get another one of those gold. I still have only pulled one gold card from Crown Zenith. We opened up a decent amount of Crown Zenith packs. Come on! Oh my! Literally jinxed to myself. Less pack magic, Crown Zenith. Then we're moving on to the next product. All right, come on, come on. You can't be. You can't. You, yeah, it's actually very hard to do to strike out completely on a on a Crown Zenith collection box. I'll tear you. We got at least something. Okay, and an Entei Hollow. All right. So now we have it. Look at this. Completely sealed. Well, not anymore. Uh, a complete display of mini tins. Check it out. These are cool. There's actually a new mini tin display that's going to be dropping soon. I don't know if it's Crown Zenith packs that are going to be in it, but there's another one. It looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know how soon they're going to be dropping, but it might actually be. No, it might be Scarlet and Violet. It's probably going to be Scarlet and Violet packs. But I say we open up some of these. Um, these are all the artworks that you get in here. There's actually five, and you can combine them together. So maybe I'll just do one row, and we'll save these for later. Because these are cool to keep like, some of them sealed and just have like the actual sealed collection of them. I like collecting sealed Pokemon products, too. I actually really like collecting sealed Pokemon products a lot. Something about just having something that's sealed, it's just like, I don't know. Um, I love like loose cards, too. I love graded cards. I like, any honestly, anything with Pokemon cards. Um, but something about having something sealed, especially if it's old school, like super old school stuff, um, it's crazy cool. I actually just picked up something for my collection. We got Soul Rock and an, another Entei. Okay. Um, I actually, yeah, like I was saying, I actually picked up something for my collection. Uh, it's from the EX era, and it's a sealed item that's like super crazy. I've only ever seen it a couple times, and I grabbed it, and uh, I don't know what I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but maybe I'll show it in a video or something because I'm. I don't think I'm gonna open it. There's a slight chance that I might for something, but I doubt it, but maybe. Oh, this EDV is so nice. Um, and maybe I'll just show it in this video. I'll just grab it. It's still in like the packaging. It just got delivered today. Bit barrel, nice. Okay, maybe I'll, 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 sh I'll show it. After I open up these, you guys are gonna be like, what the heck? Uh, it's crazy. It's actually really crazy. Like, I didn't think I'd ever have something like this in my collection, but. I, yeah, I got it. I got it. I have it. <laughs> uh, I mean, as long as it's in, it's in the, the box. Now, I, I got it from somebody reputable that, uh, yeah, it, it's there. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll grab it. I'll grab it right after we get these tins, and I'll, let me know what you guys think about it. <laughs> uh, we have a Manaphy. Okay. Two more. Can we get something interesting in these last two? I would, I'd love to pick up a gold. We did pull um, a gold card from the Crown Zenith, but that was actually for a giveaway, one where I was giving all the cards away. So that already got uh, claimed and given away and shipped out and everything. So uh, I technically don't have any of the gold cards from Crown Zenith. So maybe in, in one of these things, but they're really hard to pull. I only pulled it one time. Please, come on. I would love to get one of those gold cards. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> How many times are we going to pull this, huh? I'll take it as many times as we can get. I don't even care. 
Dude, there has to be this has to be easier to pull. Here's the code card. This has to be easier since it's the only secret rare in the main part of Crown Zenith. It has to be easier to pull at this point. I think I've pulled that Pikachu secret rare. That might be the fourth time now. And I have I've opened a good amount of Crown Zenith, but I haven't opened up a crazy amount. Like I didn't do any live stream trying to complete the set. Um, I don't always do the, the live stream binder completion set streams because sometimes it's just like I'm just not ready to, to try to handle something like it <laughs> because uh, it just you know like it's just sometimes it gets crazy and I'm sitting here for like 12 hours straight I don't always have the time to be able to do that uh, which is tough and Crown Zenith will be a cool one to do maybe one day Radiant Eternus and a Rayquaza VMAX maybe one day but you really you want to do it when the set's actually released because that's when it's like the cheapest, usually. Usually, when the set's released. Uh, because if you like the longer you wait, I feel like the more out of print it gets. And then, but with Crown Zenith, it's still in print. It is a special set, so special sets are always more expensive to pick up because you can't get booster boxes. Dude, I always pull this too, and it's my favorite from the Galarian Gallery. And a Rayquaza V to go with our VMAX. All right, I got it. L let's check this out. The big boy FedEx box. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. We got the packaging peanuts. You guys might be able to see it a little bit. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, I gotta be careful right now. Woo, let's go. Yo, EX Decton's gift pack. Oh my god. It's an entire display. So there's 12 tins in this. Yo, look at the front. Oh man, look, get my face out of the way. Just show this. Dude, EX Deck Tins gift pack. Oh my god, Rayquaza, Moltres, Zapdos. I've opened up some of these tins before, like maybe one or two. But there's a whole case of them. Now, I think the packs that you get in here are EX Fire Red Leaf Green. And I forget what the other one is. Maybe Sandstorm or something like that. I think it's two tins per, uh, or two packs per tin. Twelve tins total. Oh man, we got a. I don't know, man. I've only seen a case of these like a couple times. All right, it's upside down now, but it says 2004. Oh man, like 20 years ago. That's crazy. But yeah, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I, I, I might end up opening it one day. It had to be for something really, really special because this thing, uh, yeah, I don't know. Right now it's staying sealed, but we'll see. Maybe one day. You never know. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, though. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.